afternoon, I want to uh, welcome everybody for joining us this afternoon and thank you for coming. And we are thrilled to be joined by Secretary Ray LaHood and Congressman Earl Blumenauer, two of the really shining stars in the world of cycling. Uh, I'm Jeanette Sadekan, I'm the Commissioner of the New York City Department of Transportation. Uh, I'm also the President of the National Association of City Transportation Officials, which is a group of 15 of the largest cities and the transportation officials who work there who are working to make sure that we've got transportation investments and policies that work for cities and metropolitan areas where 80% of the people in this country live and 75% of our GDP is generated. So we're here today to release the Urban Bikeway Design Guide. Uh, it was developed by cities, for cities. It includes best practices, new standards, knowledge, basically everything that you need to know to bring world-class bikeway designs uh, to city streets. And U.S. cities have made huge leaps in the last five years. You take a look at some of our most iconic streets. You take a look at Pennsylvania Avenue. You take a look at Broadway in New York City. You take a look at Milwaukee Avenue in Chicago. You would not have seen these streets, these complete streets, these incredible bike facilities uh, five years ago. And, but until now, city leaders have really struggled uh, to bring these kinds of innovative designs to city streets. Some states enforce rigid design standards uh, that don't allow for these kinds of designs despite U.S. Department of Transportation directives. And other cities simply have not had the resources to be able to experiment and try new designs on city streets. So to address these barriers, NACDO set out to create a set of standard treatments for creating world-class streets for cycling uh, in the United States. It has the input of 18 cities, experts from around the world, uh, and a lot of great work came from Portland, Oregon, uh, where our congressman hails from, uh, and Mayor Sam Adams. And the result is a set of design standards that, is, that are tailored to U.S. cities and, and fit into a comprehensive street improvement strategy, uh, which is something that we're all working on. Um, these designs also deliver incredibly safe streets, and in New York City alone, we have uh, invested in 260 miles of on-street bike lanes in the last four years. Innovative protected bike lane designs have been put down, and as a result, we've seen traffic fatalities at their lowest level in 100 years since the city started keeping records. So it's much more than a bike design guide, it's a, it's a design guide for safer streets, for a safer future, and to ensure that our streets really work today and in 2050, uh, and not designed for 1950. So uh, it is wonderful to actually have this done. I want to thank everybody for being here, working with local leaders, with state leaders, with our federal leaders. Uh, we can really design a safer future uh, and make cycling a much more uh, mainstream component safe, healthy component of, of our city streets. And it is now my pleasure to introduce uh, someone who has done more for safety and more for cycling than any other secretary in United States history. Please join me in welcoming Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood. Hello, everybody. Thank you, uh, Jeanette. And uh, to my friend, uh, Congressman Blumenauer, thank you for your extraordinary leadership in so many ways, but in particular, uh, on our ability to uh, help you make Portland one of the most livable communities in America, to help promote uh, cycling, uh, to help promote safe cycling. Uh, Jeanette, of course, is uh, one of the real leaders um, in New York uh, and in the country uh, in making sure that uh, transportation is safe, uh, but may also making sure that there are many forms of transportation and um, the Urban Bikeway Design Guide is uh, certainly something that I would recommend that communities use as they develop the safest way for people to cycle around their communities. This is an extraordinary piece of work. It's long overdue. It's a very, it, it is what it is. It's a guide. And it's a guide that every community should use in terms of establishing the safest routes and the safest way uh, for people uh, to get around their communities and in particular to cycle around their communities. Nobody knows more about that than Jeanette. 
nobody cares more about safety than Jeanette. And so I'm, I'm really here uh, to endorse the work that's going on in terms of allowing communities to provide more safe cycling opportunities in communities like New York, like Washington, like what Mayor Emanuel is trying to do in Chicago, like what Congressman Blumenauer has done in Portland. Uh, this is a big deal, and this guide is a big deal, and it should be used as the guidepost uh, for safety and for developing uh, urban bikeway uh, design. So uh, I'm delighted to be here uh, to endorse the work uh, that is included in this particular guide and to continue to work hard with communities that really want to provide alternative forms of transportation, most importantly to provide communities cycling opportunities that are safe, convenient, and available to people who want to cycle to work, cycle to church, cycle to the store, cycle for fun, cycle to get their family outdoors. That's what this is all about. Thank you. Well, and now uh, the man for whom cycling is virtually synonymous, uh, and you can see it on his pins and, and the pins of all of his followers uh, literally were pinned with us with, uh, with two wheels uh, whenever we get near uh, Congressman Blumenauer. But seriously, as, a, as an innovator, as somebody that thinks outside the box and has been doing so for 20, 25 years, uh, it is a real pleasure to uh, have Earl Blumenauer join us here th this afternoon. Earl. Thank, thank you, Jeanette. This is an unexpected uh, honor. I was just literally coming over here to cheer you on. I, I was with this organization when you were pushing these things forward. Uh, this has been a part of my professional life for 25 years. I wish when we were starting in Portland to initiate uh, the cycling agenda that we'd had these resources. I had thumbed through. The things that you have assembled here are things that could have helped us a lot that we learned through trial and error. You've assembled the best minds in the country to be able to build on all our successes. To be here with Jeanette, who has been a driving force, not only uh, in terms of the organization, but in terms of what she's done in New York. And Ray LaHood, my former congressional colleague, uh, has been the single most influential uh, person on the federal level driving these principles and it is yes for cycling but it's about how we make our streets safe and work for everyone these principles are not just going to help make it easier for young people for instance to bike safely to school but it helps order the urban environment to make it safer for pedestrians make it safer for motorists to integrate these functions it will save money, it will save lives, it's going to provide an economic boost to many neighborhoods that are tired, it's going to stretch resources here, and in ultimately it's going to make a big difference bringing people together. So I'm, I'm honored to be here, thank you for your work, we look forward to helping you spread the word. Any questions? Thank you all for joining us.